Jason Rice here, Lot, par, lot Pop, for another Lot Party tip. And I'm going to give credit where credit's due. Uh, Steve Eberhardt, one of our inventory analysts here at Lot Pop, was just discussing this with me. And the perspective and input that he gave to the dealer in this conversation really hit home with me. And so I wanted to share it. And... Um, you know, what he brought up made an excellent point. So he was in a meeting call with one of our dealers. They've been with us three or four years, probably four years they've been with us. And um, it's part of a larger company, a larger dealer group. And Big Wigs from Corporate came in and was um, showing them, showing him uh, their concerns about some of the prices on their cars and why they're, um, he's priced too high uh, according to car gurus and that he needs to be looking at car gurus when adjusting pricing on his inventory and that his cars were too high. And I know a lot of dealers that do this. A lot of dealers would go in car gurus and base their pricing strictly off of car gurus, good to great, you know, pricing structure. And you got, to me, you got to stop doing that. You know, your, your cars are advertised on multiple platforms, typically. So why would you handcuff yourself to how car gurus want you to price your car? Car gurus might have it at great, but it might be only good or fair on cars.com or auto trader and things like that. But the biggest thing that hit home for me and what Steve brought up, he, and this is where I'm talking about know your inventory. Uh, Steve was able to pull up a couple cars and we track sale rates and sale history on a few things, a bunch of things. But, you know, a couple things that we look at, we look at sales history and if we're heavy or light and what 2019s uh, or 2017s sell for off their lot or 2016s, what they sell off their lot or what compact cars sell off their lot or what um, that make or uh, make sells off their lot. We know uh, that model. If we know F-150s sell at this price point, we know um, if the, uh, what price point those vehicles are leaving the lot. And so he pulled up for an example. He said, Hey, look at this car. Look at this car. We know these cars leave at 98% or 96%, whatever that number was. And thanks Clint. And he, we went into the car gurus and said, look, in order to make it from good to great in car gurus, you got to go to 92%. But we know looking at your data that these sell at 96%. So why would you give up, and actually he said 98% and it was 92 because I remember him saying, why would you give up that extra 6%? If you know these cars, this model or this segment or this year or the combination of all that information, which we do look at, we know that that car moves at a 98% on average, but yet to get to great on car gurus, I'm supposed to be at 92. So this corporate guy, who again is not looking at his inventory and knows the dealer's inventory like we're looking at it like he looks at it you know it's pressuring them to price these cars so you know i hear all the time well you know what we go in you know when i ask dealers what do you do about pricing well they look at their v autos or their first looks and but they also go to car gurus and make sure they're getting the good or the great deals and moving it a few bucks just to, and, and i get it and you know I know car gurus, a lot of dealerships get a lot of their leads from car gurus and it's, it, it's performing for them, but don't handcuff your inventory, two things, to one source of pricing strategy. We're big on flat pricing, meaning I'm going to price a car at 25 grand and not 24,999. So directionally, 26 grand is a good bucket on car gurus, but it's a bad bucket on autotrader and cars.com. But 25 grand is a great bucket on cars.com and autotrader. So if I if car guru says, you know, to be good to great, you got to go to 24,872, I'm going to miss a lot of activity at, of 25 grand on autotraderandcars.com. So instead of going from good to great, you know, maybe I'm 25.5 and if I go to 24.972 to go from good to great on car gurus, well, 24.972, it's under going to perform on autotraderandcars.com and maybe your own website and maybe your certified site and maybe other sites that your cars are listed on. So you got to stop manufacturing your pricing to this provider who won't even tell you how they calculate their good to great. They won't even tell you. 
okay? And because if they did, you doctor it. And which dealers doctor it anyways? You know, dealers would go in there and, and check off a bunch of boxes that just have roof and nav and everything, and it doesn't to make it look better. And so now you're competing against fictitious data out there. And so stop and know your inventory, know where it moves, and don't move a car from 98% to 92 so it looks good in car gurus when you actually sell them at 98%. So know your inventory and don't handcuff yourself to a provider who won't even share the data, how they even get the information. One, none of them do. I'm not blaming just cars, car gurus. Autotradercars.com won't tell you either. They'll give you a, a tidbit of it. They might give you five or six things out of the 20 that they're doing. But you got to watch it and know your inventory and make adjustments that make sense across the board, not just one site. So if you want any other information, how to price a car more strategically, how to move it and perform better on these sites, how to get away from this information, let me know, lotpop.com, uh, free evaluation, 844-LOTPOP4, just jrice at lotpop.com. Um, Kimri, Josh, you and I were just talking about this. No, I mean, it's excellent. I mean, please. And Clint, he said, great point. So easy to get wrapped up in that. Um, you know, use the data. It's a good source. Use the data to find it out, but don't. Just handcuff yourself. Like I said, if I went to Cargurus, I'm at 25.5. It says to get to from good to great to 24.972. I'm just going to go to 25 grand. I'm going to get that $500 price reduction, 25.5 to 25. It'll say reduced on cars.com. I'm going to hit a big bucket in Auto Trader and cars.com at 25. I'll get a little bit of an uptick on 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 Cargurus because I did adjust it a little bit. And then if 25 don't work, I'll go to 24.5. So I should be a really great deal by then. But I'm not going to miss that week or two of exposing it at 25 grand where it's going to perform a lot better on these other sites. All right. Enough said. J Rice, lotpop.com, free evaluation. Oh, I'm going to be um, driving sales executive summit. If you want a discount code, let me know. Also going to be doing a, a ride DSES, the driving sales a morning cycling ride. If anybody out there is a cycler and maybe go into uh, driving sales head there. We're going to be doing a couple rides in the mornings. And I'm also going to be speaking at the used car, uh, auto remarketing used car, get you in that uh, free into the first uh, three days of that event. It's a great event. Hit me up and give you a promotional code there. Hope this was helpful. Thanks.